focus the part is in right now? Yeah! Yep, that's me. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Serena, hence the intro, hence the channel name. That's so Rena. You get it corner, I know, but that's just how we are here. Period. You already know what's going on. Your babe is here. She's <laughs> wait, is she on every other episode of Sexy <laughs> Talk or is she not? Okay, this is Corey. If you're new here, you don't know. But if you're not new here, you already know. Co-pilot of the channel, mm. Tanicle. Okay, I'll link her channel up above. And yeah, let's just jump right into it. Okay, straight to the tipsy time. You already know. Uh. So, today's topic, as y'all can see from the title, is about Feeling lost, not understanding your purpose, and pretty much all that. We don't script out these tipsy talks, so <laughs> they might take a, a turn. turn. To the left. <laughs> but just, just roll with us. Get your glass. Oh. Get what to drink on, whatever you want to drink on, and we're just gonna get into it. Okay, so I just felt like that was the topic on my heart for today's ser sermon. Sermon. Yeah, <laughs> sermon. So that's what we're doing. <laughs> Okay. I was oh gonna say God. ceremony. Oh my God. Sarah Sermon <laughs> We've already been Sarah drinking Sonic. so yes. We have. You know. I'll link for a TikTok down below because it'll be up before this. It will. Oh uh, what is that? Man what? Manifest that yeah. you keep me in check. You keep it'll be up before this. <laughs> hey, you can do it with some edits so we <laughs> This is going up on Sunday, so Hello? <laughs> Y'all, today, Thursday, Sunday, you have time. You it's gonna be up. It. It's gonna be up. It's gonna be up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. See you on TikTok. <laughs> They're gonna be like, bitch, I know TikTok. I know what you're talking about. Anyways, y'all, so as I'm transitioning over into my late 20s, I said, let's talk about purpose and all of that because it's creeping up very fast. <laughs> it is. I said, how old am I? Oh, yeah, girl. Yeah. We up there. When I saw that the calendar said June, six Ugh. months, I was like, oh, actually in four months, I'll be 27. Mm -hmm. That's disgusting to think about, but pretty much so facts. Okay. How do you feel? <laughs> I feel crazy, too, because yeah. I feel like 26 was so different than 25. I feel like 25 was like a monumental time, which always, you know, people say like milestones. I think it's like society that's always kind of rushing. Yeah, like it's like there's certain things that people think that you would have done by a certain age and then you don't do those things by a certain age. And it's like, wow, like why didn't I do those things or, or should I have or does it really matter like you kind of just go through all the emotions mm -hmm. and i think at 26 i realized like f them standards like yeah. i'm moving on my own time i'm headed towards 30 and i feel happy with where i am in life and just the decisions that i've made like i'm good like i don't have to stick by a certain timeline i think it's kind of unhealthy to really like set those strict timelines for yourself because I feel like you end up kind of picking something or doing something that you may not really want to do. You're just Start trying settling. to tick a box. Yeah, you're like settling. you're settling mm -hmm. and you're just trying to get something done by a certain time. And it's just like, dang, that's really not how we should live life. So 26 was definitely crazy. That's why I'm like, I'm a little nervous about 27 because what, what is that going to feel like? I didn't even realize I was getting there that fast. Until yeah. I saw the, the calendar, the calendar yeah. month six, no, and I'm ten. So it's, it's like, it's oh, it's it felt like it was just New Year's. Yeah, it's no, really it felt like we were just celebrating, um, doing Vlogmas and doing um, mm -hmm. Friendsgiving. Yeah, at my house. It feels like we just did Friendsgiving because I had just got Simba. Mm -hmm. like, Simba what? is she's one already and I was like me. how old am I Simba was so small now she's huge yeah. and we're like actually she wasn't supposed to get this big <laughs> we're looking at her like did she get big uh, <laughs> is Simba in the room with us or not cause who is this dog Yeah. who is this kangaroo I don't I know I can't her. believe it mm -hmm. so I, I really feel like 27 is really it's setting me over the edge I'm trying to get it under <laughs> control before we get to October 
<sighs> you know, I'm the third day of October. Like, it's like, boom, October, you're 27. Yeah. Period. Straight. I so, think it would be great. At my 26th birthday, I felt like, wow, I'm 26. Like, I was having, I was going through it. Y'all are all like, oh my God, you look great. I'm like, is this happening? Oh my God. I'm like, <laughs> Six. And, and my thing is, right. I still have not posted all my birthday content yet. <laughs> Corey, please. Exactly. So I'm, I'm in you a spot. My birthday, please. I'm in like, a spot where I'm like, I'm constantly reliving my birthday, which was months ago in March, and that's just because I still have all this footage that I need to sift through because there's just so much footage, like from vacation, from the photo shoot, from this and that, and I'm like, oh my god, like I really want to kind of, um, you know, put out the content that I want to be able to quickly access Mm -hmm. if I want to look back on it. Cause it's like Instagram for me is like a timeline. TikTok is not really a timeline. So I can post whatever over there, but I'm like, I'm being very strategic about what I'm posting on Instagram. Cause that kind of is like the timeline of my life. So I'm like, I have so much footage. Like what goes, what doesn't go? What do I want to be able to quickly just like grab like that's the first place I'm gonna go to go back to look at all my memories so it's kind of like how you look up it's time again yeah I'm like can we get all the birthday content out this year before my next birthday yeah because that's crazy it'll be done it'll get done why people feel lost because you're trying to keep up Mm -hmm. with your timeline what's going on real life is happening you're trying to yeah just get this even if you're not a content creator, just try to just take in the fact that you just turned a whole new age. Mm-hmm. And then by the time you blink again, you're another age. So it's like, how old am I? I don't know. Don't ask me how old <laughs> I am. I'm in my late 20s. I don't know anymore. Oh and then the from the 25 to 26 stage is where it really hits you. Because it's yeah. like, whoa. It's wild. I'm here. not in my early 20s. Like I'm like mm-hmm. old enough to run a car. I'm old. Like, I'm I can do it there. all. I have my own, like, I'm off the insurance. Like, <laughs> literally, you gotta be a full blown adult. <laughs> yeah, they say something about 21, but the 26 yeah, no. is really when it's like, whoa, I was just 18. Mm-hmm. It's a lot. Very fast. It's and crazy. Turning 27 is like, whoa, next year I'll be 28. That's what I'm doing in my head because I'm an October baby. So it's like, ooh, this year. Is next be year, done be fast. Yes. <laughs> it comes very fast. Like, oh, no. And then immediately after mine is hers. And she's like, look, it was just your birthday. I'm like, what? Yeah, your after birthday your already, birthday goes, it goes I'm fast. Like, because it's October, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Christmas. It's boom, boom. New boom, Year's. Yeah. After New Year's, then it's Valentine's Day. Then it's like, okay, then now it's her birthday. Okay. Yeah. I can't even like recover from one holiday before no. it's like the next holiday and then my birthday. So it's like, yeah, it's, it's a lot. But I will say, like, I'm excited. I mean, we should be excited about getting older in we general. Should be. We're still here. <laughs> yeah. We're still going barely. Barely. But we're still here. Drink to that. But also, I get it. It's like, yo, like, what am I doing? But. I mean, I feel like I started to become more comfortable with not knowing, like, what the future actually looks like because then it goes back to that whole, oh, you have, like, this set plan. Like, you block a lot of opportunities and a lot of blessings that way, just, like, prematurely making a decision about what you're going to do just based off of what age you're turning. Yeah. Like, we don't have to have kids by a certain age. We don't have to be married by a certain age. We don't have to hit those, those, you know, I don't want to say old school, but like old school traditional, traditional milestones that a lot of people hit. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know, it's a lot of things that sometimes you have to unlearn and you have to, to just accept them and be okay with them. And I think that whole process is kind of hard. Transformative. Yeah. It's like, it's not an easy thing to do, but it's just like, you know, you start to just be at peace with yourself and how your day to day is going. I'm like, right now I'm chilling, (laughs) you know, I can't imagine life any other way right now. I can't imagine being married right now. I feel like I'm able to imagine it not any other way right now because I did it so early. Mm. And so it's like I got it out of my system. Like, mm-hmm. if you're new here, you don't know. I was married at 18. Mm-hmm. So now that I'm 26 and we're eight years later, it's like, whoa, like my life could have been so different. And mm-hmm. now that I am pushing 30 and unmarried, it's like, mm-hmm. 
actually I thought like, I could what are we do- doing no it was like wow I thought I could still be doing this at this age oh. and I'm not the same I'm not the same 18 year old that I was at yes. that age so it's like to think that I would be carrying a marriage through all of that sounds very crippling crazy. and crazy actually <laughs> like the how I am now versus how I was there I would literally be struggling to carry that marriage through I feel all that. of these changes that I have went through within 18 mm-hmm. and 26. That's valid. That's almost a 10 year marriage. <laughs> That's crazy, yeah. <laughs> Yo, like, can you imagine me saying, oh my God, Corey, I want to invite you to my 10 year wedding anniversary and we're sitting here at 26 and drinking wine. Yeah. Unmarried. <laughs> I personally could not imagine being married right now though. Like, I'm just not in that headspace and i'd be at my tenure and I'd, be like, <laughs> I'd be a supportive friend on the sideline but i'd be like <laughs> i'm confused oh my god what this? do you mean what's the secret tenure <laughs> can we get to our first like, high school reunion <laughs> literally because that i feel like will be crazy when it's time for that i'm like oh um, that's really gonna put us in a in a, a, time, time, a time warp we're gonna be like whoa because when you see everyone, I mean, we see everyone now, like, on social media and stuff like in that. in one area. But in one area, in, this, in in the same space, like, in the flesh, be able to talk to everybody. I'm like, this actually is going to be so crazy. It's going to be so crazy. 2025, it's going yeah. down. It's going down. 10-year yeah. anniversary. That's going to be sick. Oh, God. I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready. Yeah. Give me two more years. See? And I be feeling like, I'm like, I need the time. Just give me, <laughs> give me the time. Give me the time. Yeah. I'll take the time. Graciously. <laughs> because absolutely not. I can't. And my, yeah. My family, my parents, they're going to high school uh, uh, reunion stuff. I'm like, y'all been out of high school. And I'm y'all not- been out of high school for a long time. <laughs> That's the time warp for sure. Ugh. But I do feel like social media, back to the topic, I feel like social media does play a role in people feeling lost and mm-hmm. comparing themselves to where they think that they should be at a certain age. Yeah. Um, but then it's like, at what point do you decide as a person, like, I should just do a social media detox or I should not follow people who I'm envious of or I should not follow people who I'm comparing myself to, you know? Mm-hmm. That's why I don't understand when people say, like, social media is toxic. So I'm like, it's really subjective to what you are looking at. Like, yeah. You are in full control of your social media profile. Like, mm-hmm. if you don't want to see certain things or you pass it or like, unfollow. Don't recommend, like, you're in control. And, you know, the algorithm is going to do what the algorithm is going to do, girl. You're going to get a little sprinkle, sprinkle yeah. of some stuff you don't want to see. But it's up to you whether you engage with it or not to so mm-hmm. whether that's going to become a repeat pattern. Mm-hmm. But I definitely feel what you're saying. Social media is honestly crazy. And for us, it's like we started so long ago like we started at a time where it was not so strategic Mm -hmm. and it was not a career like it wasn't a job like whenever we came across it that's when the first you know big dogs or the 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 people that are successful now and doing social media full time when we started they were just starting they were just starting to actually take it seriously and that's what inspired i don't know i can't speak for you but for me like that's what inspired me to start taking it seriously because they were taking it seriously but they weren't doing it full time they had other jobs like that was just something that they were doing on the side and it was not anything close to what it is now so i'm like you know it's kind of crazy to think like i used to make stuff that I was just solely passionate about Mm -hmm. to then try to come up with a strategy. I think that's the part where I'm personally lost right now because it's like, I like just documenting things in general, whether that's I went outside and I saw a bird. I want to take a picture of a bird 
or I went on a trip and I wanted to take a picture of a waterfall. Like I was just taking pictures of whatever. Mm -hmm. There was no rhyme or reason. There was no, oh my God, let me get my settings right. Like oh it was- Oh my God, I have to lead with this picture. This you know? A lead photo. It was like, like oh, what? Well. I have was... to post at this time because this no. is what my audience is. It was just whatever. Like we was just doing it for whatever. And those are kind of like the days that I miss. And that's what I'm trying to convince myself now just step back into that person that you were mm -hmm. when you first started like in my house right now i have this sign up and it says when you feel like quitting remember why you started i'm like i started this journey because of my love for documenting memories that's just how i grew up my great grandmother would go to cbs and buy the disposable cameras really? and those were the only pictures that we had they were in scrapbooks. They were in folders just from getting developed. She might have gotten them blown up and they're on her wall or whatever. I'm just like, we have so many pictures. There's no video. That's what I'm like. I don't yeah. know how I even got into video, but everything was just pictures. I started out my journey as a photographer. Like, I got into video when I was a senior in, in high school. But I was more so like pictures, 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 Polaroid, stuff like that, because that's just how I grew up. And I'm like, this is the stuff that makes me happy. I want to just capture moments mm -hmm. and still moments. And relive them. Then relive them just based off of a still image. But now it's like we have video, which is great, because I'm like, this is even better to relive a moment if you can actually they see, see reaction. hear, see, you know, see just live and in real time. But I'm like, why am I making everything so strategic like everything doesn't have to be so planned out everything doesn't have to feel forced everything doesn't have to be like on a to-do list or whatever but then it's like i feel like i'm shooting myself in the foot because i'm like no not even that but i have all this footage and i have to then put on my creative hat to kind of make something that's going to make sense for my viewers mm -hmm. to watch mm -hmm. so i'm not the type of person that i sit down and plan out every single video like okay i'm going to shoot this one scene and then this scene and then like that's what you need to do when you need like a, a clear editing flow you know yes. what i'm saying it makes editing easier but the reason why i have a, a vault is because I'm literally I'm recording the camera on. everything. <laughs> I'm like, I want to capture everything. I don't care what it is. I'll be able to turn it into something. But that is what takes so long when it comes to editing. When you don't know what the hell you're doing, or how you want it to or how you, exactly. Because what like, message okay, am I trying to communicate? How can I make this to where people are gonna want to watch it? Mm -hmm. to like, whoa, that looks interesting. But yeah. like, to you, it's like such a monumental moment, or it's something that is so like dear to you yeah and but the gag like, is at really the end of the like, day the gag is at the end of the day i don't care about what they think <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like i want to make it what i want it to look yeah. like so that's that's where it gets tricky i'm like yo i want this to look like how i want it to look and i want to remember this memory how i want to remember it mm. that's the problem because it might not be the latest editing style or it might not be what my viewers want to see but this is how i want to remember this core memory so I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into editing, knowing that, okay, this might not be enjoyable for everybody. It's going to hit some people, but everybody might not like this. And you have to be okay with that. But people these days are like, no, like I'm trying to make content likable for someone else because it's a career and they're trying to get to the next level where they're trying to make sure they have food on the table, which is understandable. But geez, that's where we get lost, baby. It's like, it's not even the kind of content you want to make at this point. Who said I wanted to edit like that? Yeah, you're just making content to catch the algorithm. I'm like, so that you are able to put food on the table, but you don't like any of the content you're putting in. It's not your passion. You're That's crazy. With emotion, so it's close. like, so now that we're actually adults and we have to, I mean, not we have to, but we picked this life at the end of the day. We picked it. So it's like, all right, I'm here now, I'm a full-time content creator, and I need to make content for my audience, but it's like, do I make the content that I wanna make and take a, a risk with every single video, or do I make what performs well, and what I know they're gonna click on, and what I know is gonna bring money in to put food on the table for myself. And 
doing that over time that's why people get burned out because it's just like this is not even what i want to do mm -hmm. it's not what i signed up for but you just never know when you put yourself out there you, we typically put so many different aspects of ourselves out there to see what people bite at and then we roll with that and it's whatever, just like whatever hits yeah. i didn't say i wanted to make every video about this <laughs> but then again i didn't want to spend 20 hours on a video that y'all didn't click on yeah so it's sure. it's definitely like very easy to start feeling lost or feeling confused about what you're doing and and recently i've just been trying to remember like wow remember why you started remember that this is personal first because this is your real life you're not like an actress or something like you're not putting on a show for the yeah, viewers so you know on, like this is what i'm actually doing. yeah you don't live to vlog mm. you vlog your life mm. right and so it's like I'm sorry if this is not entertaining. To you yeah, that this is what I did today. That I cleaned out my refrigerator today, but I cleaned out my refrigerator today and I edited it for y'all to not be bored. Yeah. And um, I mean, once you hit, what I did. Once you build a community and you hit a certain level, it's definitely going to be a percentage of your followers that just rock with you heavy that are like, I don't care what you're talking about, I don't care what you're doing, I just want to. Put your video on it's my comfort it's my my sanity it's my relief from the my wind down from the day whatever you're doing and i love that and that is so special to me because i follow people like that i'm like i don't me care too. what y'all doing i'm just putting it on i want to see y'all i want to hear y'all talk we're having I girl talk wanna, right now i don't care if you're sitting there making a grocery list right i'm gonna listen i want to be there <laughs> what are you buying today yeah. <laughs> roll the camera yeah. Oh my gosh, I feel like we do like, uh, I just hope that because you know, like trends circulate, like they go around, they come, come around. Yeah. So I'm like, can we just go back to just the real authentic content of just living a real life? Like everyone yes. is trying to paint life to be this beautiful thing. Luxury and I'm like, um, well, your definition of luxury is subjective. Subjective, yes. Right? So when you start comparing yourself or feeling like you're less than, yeah. somebody else might feel like your life is luxury mm -hmm. because you're doing something they don't. Mm -hmm. They're not able to do. Yeah. Corey and I can sit here and make a charcuterie board, drink four different kinds of wines, mm -hmm. and smoke hookah. And somebody will look at that as luxury where somebody else may go to freaking Bali and find that as a luxury right. YouTuber. Because you know? today was a luxury for me. Because whenever we have time to sit back <laughs> at the same time, like, come on, like, it's like scheduling is so crazy. Yeah. Life is so crazy. So to be able to just say, you know what, today we're just going to do something spontaneous. We're going to go find some new wines and try them, but we're going to film it just so we can have fun. That's a luxury. Because mm -hmm. we could be clocked in right now. We could be clocked <laughs> in. It is actually embarrassing. Thursday, Thursday. At 4 p.m. We could be clocked <laughs> in to somebody's job right now. In traffic. You know, in tra trying to get back to Jackson Corey. Like, <laughs> I wish I was not in the car right now, you know? <laughs> yeah, but it's a luxury to just waste the whole day. Yeah. Have she scared the shit out of me. That would be my mom, BRD. <laughs> okay. No, that was mama good. Mama Smudge wants some wine, but that was good to have us. <laughs> Mama Smudge said, Mama Smudge um, no, I came to the party. She said, I'm not just getting she my said, stuff. She said, actually, no, I'm, I want some wine. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Have some. Have some. <laughs> Winking owl is okay. what we're drinking. Yes. This is real life, y'all. Yeah. This, this is what we're drinking, now, Winking like, Owl. Okay, it is 13, 13 for sex. Hey, why don't you set, man? <laughs> <laughs> wanting to post what you want exactly. without dealing with trends. I <laughs> hope that the, well, what I was saying was the trends go around and come around. So I hope we get back to a point where we're just genuinely obsessed with making content that we just make the content to make the content and post it. Like, it doesn't have to be strategic. You don't have to plan it out. I don't want you to sound like a robot. I don't want you to be selling me something. Like, I want to know who you are at yeah. the core. That's why I started watching content in the beginning. So, for me, it's like, 
I feel like mine is like a mix. Like on TikTok, we're just having fun. We're just mm -hmm. doing whatever over there. I'm not really trying to, you know, sell you everything. I'm just giving you my experiences, stuff that I want to do for me personally, foods that I want to try or whatever. And if it's good, I'm going to tell you it's good and you should try it. Because, baby, you should try it. It tastes good. Like this, um... Winking Owl Shiraz. You need to go <laughs> that for a try. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Thirteen percent for three dollars. I mean, hey, we're in a recession, baby. Go ahead and get you all these uh, bottle of wine and you have a good night. I'm just saying. That's it. I feel like YouTube has been very commercialized, mm -hmm. but and on TikTok, you just come in your bonnet and you just talk and you go viral like, yeah because you're saying something relatable and right. that's why i love tiktok because you never know when you're just gonna blow yeah. like i have I a viral think... video of me with no makeup on just sitting there talking about my experience as in a full bottoming school and it has about 50k views on it like what? yeah right what? like <laughs> this is the stuff that people want to hear about yeah some people I feel like there's an audience for everything. There's so many people out there. So while we're feeling lost, we still try to like stay true to ourselves and, and just put out what feels right at the end of the day. And the people that it's supposed to reach is the people that it reaches. And sometimes it's more than, than others. So sometimes it's not that you're lost. It's just that you have not found your target audience mm -hmm. or that you have not found... Um, you you know your purpose, but you haven't seen any residual uh, response from it. So yeah. you feel like you're lost, but you just need to just stay true to who you are, and then it will just right. Unfold. I feel like right now everything is like, okay, well you need to find a problem and solve it, and then that's how you know make a video about that, and that's how you go viral. I'm like, but some people are literally just looking for somebody else that's going through the same thing that they're going through. That's their problem. They feel like they're going through something alone. Yes. And they feel like they're the only person that has to go through this because they don't know anyone else going through the same thing. So being open and being vulnerable and, and doing story times and just talking openly, it's like you will build a community that way faster yes. than trying, trying to, to be so trend. yeah, trying to be so strategic and hopping on a train. I'm like I'm really not the trend girl. Like, I'm exhausted. Like, the transitions. And I'm like, bro, I don't want to sit down and do this. I really don't. Rip me out of plastic. I don't want to do it. That's me. I can do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. But it's like, I can, but I don't I'm want sure to. Do it. I'm going to do it right. I'll do it, but I don't want to. <laughs> I'm tired, boss. Dang, I just want to be me. I'm not putting a bag over my head. <laughs> Trying to end it all. He's supposed yeah. to like the yeah, babies. The partner. babies are like pulling the like, <laughs> back and back. I'm like, we're yes. not trying to end it all today. Y'all trying to keep me. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. But yeah. I like this topic. I just feel like it's great. You should just be true to who you are, and everything else will unfold. Okay. Mm -hmm. Amen. And who's man? Ben Jesus, Mama. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I don't know what that means. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I put y'all in on the insider. So when he says the same, it has spice to it. Hey yo, let's get into the notes. Of what? The <laughs> All right, what else you taste? Spice. <laughs> and there was a nice <laughs> black cherry, blackberry, and a hint of spice. It goes good with grilled meats and Asian cuisine. Best served at room temperature. Mm -hmm. Got her on the set. Mm -hmm. But she said, I this was Shiraz is spicy. <laughs> spicy topic. I feel like everybody's going through something right now. Like Everyone every single time. person that we follow has posted like a statement or, or, or... And I'm like, it's not even retro ready. We just finished one. We finished one coming ready. out. Yeah. I think we like struggling. Try to make it out retrograde, but then it's like actually break. Mm -hmm. Everyone try to go back to work, and they're like, um, no. <laughs> it's a lot. You know what? Okay, I saw a video yesterday that was like, so who decided that the word consistency means every day? Not me. Who made that up? <laughs> I said. 
said, yo, that is a great question because at the end of the day, like people really make you feel like you have to post on TikTok every day to, to, <laughs> and I mean, I'm just saying that's not consistency. Consistency is really what you make it. And we come from, she's like, we go to the dentist once every six months. That's consistent. I'm like, exactly. We're on routine. But I mean, if you're obviously like on social media and you're trying to grow a following, you can't post once every six months. But at the end of the day, it's like you're in control of what your consistency looks like. Also, you're allowed a day of rest. Also, you can record multiple things on one day. Right. Actually, how many things we recorded today? 20. Okay. Might as well. <laughs> Mine as well. Okay, my 20. But I filmed at least four things today. I filmed at least four things today. Yeah. Which, for me, in this state, in this economy, is consistent. consistent. Well, it might be a stretch because I'm not doing this once a week. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Well, actually. Actually. No, but... You know, you decide for yourself what consistency is going to mean for you and you show up. I'm like, if you know that you're trying to grow a following, then you know, okay, once a week on TikTok, if TikTok is not your main platform, that's it's pretty fine. consistent. Yeah. As long as we know when to expect you and you're showing up, it's right. consistent. Now, if it's your main platform, then maybe two times a week is going to be a little bit better for you. If you have actual goals, mm-hmm. if you're not trying to be here for 10 years trying to grow your platform because it's a fast paced yo like the moment something drops the video is already out somebody has already posted a video somebody is so hungry that their video is already edited posted Mm -hmm. so you gotta really take that into perspective like if you're trying to make it out here if you're trying to be consistent you need to figure out what consistent looks like for you as far as what you can handle and what you can manage but it has to be kind of competitive to what other people are doing in such a fast paced environment yeah you're gonna get you're gonna get lost in the sauce babe if you post once every other week i'm never gonna see your videos Mm -hmm. algorithm gonna be playing you ain't gonna show me they ain't gonna show me you're gonna be like girl why because one thing about me, I'm always on my For You page. Never on my following. I'm always on my I For You page. That. I see your that. I'm always on my For You page. So that just goes to show how much people post. Because I'm like, and then I'm going back. I'm like, is this an old video? And I'm like, no. Mm-hmm. This like about 12 hours ago. So mm-hmm. they're still showing me. The, they might not be showing it to me right away based on what time I'm online or whatever. But they're still showing me the content. So you just got to decide. Every day sounds crazy, though. Every day sounds exhausting. It just sounds like you from example on other platforms. Impossible. Yeah. Especially a TikTok video. Where a majority of it, if you're running your own page, you have to be in it. <laughs> so it's like mm-hmm. how many videos did you record one day and you're just sitting in drafts? I used to film twelve videos a day. No. Stop talking. When I first Wait. started Stop. YouTube, yo, ask my mom. She's in the building. What did I used to do in that back room in your house? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would set up the lights. I'm to say amen. That's probably the only time she, that's probably the only time she ever in her life saw me get up early in the morning. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Willingly. Yeah. When I said I was going to start a YouTube channel, I meant I was going to start a YouTube channel. I would get up. I don't know what time, but it was in the morning. <laughs> I am not a morning person. It was in the morning. I would get up. I would set them lights up. I would film doing my makeup first. And your girl didn't even know how to do her makeup. And so every day it was something <laughs> different. I'm like, I probably look crazy. Who cares? I film a little makeup video. I wasn't talking to the video. So it was just like, you're going to do your makeup. You already know. We're going to edit this, speed it up, put some music over it. At the end, we're going to do our little poses. We're going to be you acting like my cute. old Instagram videos. Boy, I'm trying to tell you. Please. I was editing on a Windows laptop. I was filming on an iPhone 4S. 4S. <laughs> Please. It was this big. I the still got it. Toshiba. I still have that phone. It was this big. Stop it. Genuinely. And I was stacking on top of four shoe boxes in order to be high enough 
for me. She's laughing because she will watch yeah. me do this every day. She's like, are you really? I'm like, yes. I would film on the back camera, even though it had a front camera. <laughs> I would film on the back camera. So oh, I would yeah. have to film like five different clips to make sure that I was in, in the, the frame. frame. Yes. I'm like, how much storage was on this iPhone 4S for me to film a whole makeup video? A lot. Files were smaller. Okay. Back in the day. Yes. Yeah, because the quality, bad. we can pull it up on a TV right now. No, bad. That's not bad. 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 Down bad. <laughs> I can show y'all what I look like right now. A mess. But back then, you couldn't tell me nothing. I was popping. That's where I started with freaking five shoe by four shoe boxes, my iPhone 4S, and um, I did actually that we did have ring lights. I had a ring light and two <laughs> soft box lights, and that was it. BH mm -hmm. Cosmetics all the way. Okay, Elf. Mm -hmm. That was all. That's all I had was Elf and BH. That's all I could afford back then. So the point of this topic. Is to say you're comparing y'all are comparing yourselves to people uh, online, uh, online, and you don't know what's really going on behind the scenes, right? You know, like <clears throat> y'all are saying that you haven't made it there yet, based off of what other people are doing. You don't know what that person is going through to get right. there. You know, so it's it's really all about your timeline, what you want to make, what your goals are, what you want to achieve. It really has nothing to do with anybody else. I'm exactly. Sorry. If it we really look doesn't. back at where I started, as long as my quality has increased since then, I'm doing great. In my mind. As far as what In I'm producing. Mind, that's how the earth should be. Not like, as far as what we're producing, but everyone is looking at numbers and metrics and money and views and everything. And I'm like, okay, but that should not be the only thing that we're looking at these days. But... Capitalism. We're not getting into that topic no. for another day. Yeah, maybe. we're not getting into that at all tonight. Capitalism is a different topic. I'm just saying. <laughs> What's going on over there? The Shiraz. <laughs> is the Shiraz kicking in over there? She's sleeping. No, she's not. Ma. <laughs> what is that? I like she didn't sleep. She don't even sleep like that. Mr. Bethany. She's making her way. I like, she, don't sound, way. she don't sound like that when she sleeps. <laughs> it's one of them. <sighs> it's happening. It's in her bloodstream. Oh my goodness. Well, my drink is gone. <laughs> and I need to go pick up my dinner so I can go home. Yeah. See y'all later. See ya!